So this is wild. I mean, okay, I'm a millennial and I grew up when we had phone books, but why did we have phone books? I mean, talk about the stalker handbook. What the <laughs> hell? That's right. Everybody like, you need to know is their first name, last name. You can find out where their like name and address and their, I guess you already know their name. You can find out their address and their phone number. Right. And it's just publicly available at every phone booth and it comes to your door every year or whatever it was. That's like, right. What were we doing? Actually, you think the, uh, yeah, the, the more internet think age it, is insecure. The more, <laughs> the more I think about it, the worse it gets because like yeah. this was fixed to your locality. Like if you ever moved, then this makes no sense. Like this, this book, your entry in this book makes mm -hmm. no sense. Like That's we right. are, when we, I've had the same phone number I've had since probably like 20 years or whatever. Like our, yeah. our numbers are more attached to us now than they are with this book. So mm -hmm. why would we make a book that is impermanent? It changes every year. Well, that's why they send a new one every year because it will get out of date. That's just, just, just pouring but, away trees. Just, just, trees. just pouring just, away trees. Yeah. It's so weird that that was a thing. So weird. But at the same yeah. time, there's that cute girl in third grade, a stalker, <laughs> figure yeah. out a family name. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so the Terminator is able to find Sarah Connor based on the phone book. If they didn't, we didn't have phone books, he wouldn't have been able to find it. There's no internet back then. What if the 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 T one hundred one Arnold did he didn't consider that Sarah Connor might have actually been born Richard Connor? He should be hunting everyone. I mean, that's true because what if she changed gender? Or maybe she was born Richard Connor and then later changed to Sarah Connor. Yeah, she T one oh one should be hunting everyone. Wait, 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 wait. If she is going to get pregnant with exactly. John Connor, she would have to uh -huh. start female and transition to male. She couldn't he, oh, she yeah. couldn't start male transition to female, right? I'm a physicist, I don't know. Just... So she could start out as Sarah. And then change her name to Richard, and he skips over that's right. Richard Connor. Ah, that's right. And at this point in time, T101 doesn't know if Sarah has transitioned to Richard yet. So Richard Connor mm -hmm. could actually be the one that gives birth to to John Connor. That's right. And also mm. the robots are bigots, so they don't think about bigots. that. Goddamn robots. Mm -hmm. So phone some. book nullifies. Jesus. This movie has a sour taste in my mouth now. Okay, so this is for the audience safety. I don't care how big your ha your hair is; it's still not a helmet. Wear a helmet. Yeah, wear, wear a helmet. Always wear, wear a helmet. helmet. Even on these little moped thingies, which are super dangerous because you have a false sense of security, wear a helmet. It's all the danger with no sex appeal. You're still traveling thirty five yeah. miles per hour, thirty miles per hour of a head hitting a wall. No good. Wear a helmet. No good. Wear a helmet. At least wear a helmet. Hmm. You should be wearing all the other padding as well. Yeah, but at two least helmets. wear a helmet. With a jaw guard. Three helmets? Oh, yeah. The most likely place for your head to hit the ground is right on your chin. So wear a full face helmet. At least a modular one that like pops up, pulls down. Mm -hmm. Yep. Safety first. Super dangerous. But at the same time, the 80s was super not dangerous. Look how look at the utopia this place is. Like, look at that. How do I know? Look, she's got her scooter locked up to a tree mm -hmm. with this super flimsy chain. Like this chain doesn't cut it in 2023 because you could cut it in 2023. This is like a quick, easy, like lock picking lawyer just chomp with the with the bolt cutters. This thing's gone. Look how nice it must have been to live back then. I mean, bolt cutters existed in the 80s. People just were like, "This is why? Why would I do crime? Why would I do crime? This is somebody's. They locked it up for a reason." Oh, yeah. But today, if you have like a really crappy bicycle that barely works, and you, you lock it up with this chain, it's gone by the end of the day. I've had I've had two bikes stolen. It's frustrating. Yep. So wow. And then the slack she gives this. <laughs> That's she right. Lock it right up to the tree. So like I like know. so it's what is it? It's you're supposed to chain your object to something that's heavy and immovable and like really tight. Because the more right. slack you give your chain, the more you could wrap something around on it, and then you could exert <laughs> torque and rip it apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like this is like cosmetic safety. That's right. Yeah, so it's good time to be alive. Preventing the like the the worst, the most opportunistic criminal. That's all it's pre right. present preventing right now. Like the laziest criminal that's like, eh, <laughs> this is basically paper mache but a chain. Like, ah, eh, forget it. I think that means in the modern world we have uh, very organized criminals because they actually have to go around prepared for the different locking mechanisms. That's right. Uh, Whereas, organized, intelligent, skillful, they've honed their craft. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Cool. Everyone levels up.